Then we have this image filtering commands. So as you are aware that uh, image processing is nothing but image filtering. So in image filtering, uh, there are different words which are used for filtering also like masking, uh, like uh, structuring element and uh, image filter itself. So what is the concept of this filter? So basically what happens is that we have a complete image and then we have different working dem uh, like structuring elements or filters of different sizes which are uh, usually of three by three size filters and then we apply on the image and then see the results for example uh, this uh, uh, slide which is shown here it is representing a sharpening uh, filter so this sharpening filter is based on image uh, derivatives or uh, like we can say differentiations like a uh, laplacian and then maybe first order derivative or second order derivative and these sort of things so idea is when we are sharpening the image what we are doing we are like putting more focus on different edges of the uh, given or objects or uh, edges of the uh, uh, different objects inside the image so anyhow i have uh, i will be showing you this when i will be implementing also but still cv2.filter2d so this is a two dimensional filter source is the image depth is like for example when we put minus one one and so on and then we have this k sharp and this k sharp basically this is uh, basically the filter which we will be uh, like developing uh, like uh, when we talk about this sharpen filter so the best sharpen filter which comes into our mind is laplacian filter where we will be writing uh, like uh, some higher value inside the middle pixel and remaining values will be minus one so minus one minus one minus one minus one and in the middle eight minus and remaining all the values will be minus one so this kernel is basically the filter size maybe it can be three and it can be five it can be one and so on so if it is three so this sharpening filter would be something like eight in the middle and remaining eight values would be minus one similarly this blurring this is a uh, like common filter which is used for smoothing of the image so syntax is very very simple cv2 dot blur image and then this blurring size or kernel size so simple you have to blur the image and then you have to provide the image maybe one by one two by two three by three five by five and you have to produce this um, kernel size uh, filter by using uh, numpy library where you will be uh, like uh, producing a array and then maybe you are putting the, uh, some values there so uh, in theory, uh, I've already explained in my image processing lectures that mostly uh, we use some average smoothing filter for these purposes where the values are 1 by 9 in all the 9 col uh, nine uh, pixels or elements. So 1 by 9, 1 by 9, 1 by 9. So uh, and so the total sum of all the values is equal to 1. And also you can play with this command also. Similarly, this Gaussian blur, it gives a very, very smoothing effect or aesthetics are very good when we are using this Gaussian blur why because this Gaussian function it is based on gradual increase or decrease in values so when we apply this blurring using Gaussian blur the result of the filter is very very smoothing and you also idea is very simple Gaussian blur it's again takes uh, source which is image then kernel size sigma x uh, like uh, displacement sigma y border type and these sort of information so again the sigma x and displacement and sigma y these are the parameters which we have to give values and you can put very small values and see the results yourself then we have this median blur so median blur is similar to uh, initial blurring where we are just passing the source file and uh, kernel size here so uh, source file is this image and the kernel size you can produce a simple matrix or simple uh, kernel of 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 size this is negative of the image basically so what we are doing uh, this is uh, filter and then uh, uh, apply your identity filter or whatever we can say so this is a kernel filter np array so this is just you are producing with some numbers and then uh, applying this one using cv2 dot filter 2d image minus 1 k filter so you can apply this one and see the results yourself 
uh, once we are done with reading the image working with the basic properties of the image displaying different sorts of text circle line drawing and similarly working with maybe ellipse and these sort of things now the things get very interesting when we move towards implementation of basic filters in the side the provided images so as you understand that image processing is all about applying different side of mask filters or kernels on the provided image this section or this topic becomes very very interesting so let's don't waste our time and let's start the topic very quickly so in this topic or in this video what we will be covering is that we will be applying different sort of filters on the provided image and then seeing the results for example we will be applying blurring on the image we will be applying different sorts of blurring uh, filters such as simple blurring gaussian blurring then we will be applying other filters like median filter bilateral filter uh, and later on we will be applying sharpening on the provided image and then seeing what are the results and finally we will be applying a random filter on the given image or uh, maybe we can apply on the video too but at the moment we will be applying on the image alone and then seeing what is the result so let's don't waste the time and be very very quick to the video or uh, to the working demo directly and let's see uh, so what we are going to do with this working demo now so we have a image which is called img underscore 15 dot png and then I will be playing with this one let's open the file new file so name this as image underscore filter so image underscore filters and then ok click this oh sorry so uh, we have to write image underscore filters dot python so again file new and image underscore filters dot py image underscore filters dot py okay so this file is created now this is what we have been doing previously also so we can write code here import cv2 so that we have our open cv available then writing the name of the image or image file so image cv2 dot im read and then passing the image path here so which is basically name of the image in our case image underscore 15 dot png so just to be very clear image underscore png 15 image underscore 15 dot png similarly we can write quotes for image show and display and then destroy window type things so just writing those codes which we have been using previously cv2 dot im show and then just you can write the name of the uh, like image which is image underscore 15 dot png and which is like in variable img so let me write this one okay just to be very uh, different so uh, just to present one thing i am writing this one a bit uh, like a separate uh, type of thing like cv2 dot m show blur blur so now this is the reverse programming basically i would say so now i will be writing this code for the blur image a variable is declared blur underscore image which is equal to cv2 dot blur this is a function basically for applying our first filter which will convert the given image into a blurred image so i will pass image and then i will be like kernel size so you can put any kernel size so this is basically effect of the blurring which will be occurring i have uh, uh, like uh, explained this one in the theoretical lecture also so anyhow so cv2 dot i am show blur underscore image and then wait key and then uh, the other one is like cv2 dot destroy all window okay so when i run this one you can see that uh, there will be a blurring or blurred image will appear run image underscore filters so let me run this one okay so you can see this is a blurred image as compared to the original image so now i will be applying different filters in the same sequence and then seeing the results so i will uh, be very quick on showing the results and coding these sort of things so let me copy this code and then maybe put it again back here so basically the idea is so i commented out this one and then i will be working on this code so idea is quite simple that i'm making different blocks so that i can write codes and then show you so now i'm working with the gaussian blurring filter so just 
uh, you can put any name but it's better that you put the name of the filter so that you can understand what is the code written here so for that one we have to update this function also which would be cv2 dot get gaussian blur uh, sorry it's uh, it should be like gaussian blur rather than get gaussian blur so it should be get uh, sorry gaussian yes gaussian blur so this is the function again source file which is img so I'll copy this one img and then we again can give the same size which we gave previously or maybe smaller size too it will also work so the difference uh, in Gaussian blur and the simple blur I have explained in theory also that this Gaussian blur will be very smoothing to the eyes so let's run this one now yes you can see that this blur activity is better than the previous blurring activity okay make this comment uh, comment it out this one and copy this code so that we can write our third uh, filter let's go with the bilateral filter code first and then we will be writing median and other filters too okay so same code copy it from Gaussian and then let's change one, this one with bilateral filter so uh, maybe okay so bilateral filter and here we will be cv2 dot bilateral yes so this is the code basically again we have source which is image and then we can put any size type thing so d so these are the values maybe color values can be put and so on so i have explained these in the theoretical part if you are unaware uh, like uh, unaware of this com concepts you can see the theoretical parts also so i am running this one so stop and run maybe stop this one and run again okay so the idea is that this will again be giving very smooth effect to the actual image so let's move quickly to the fourth filter in this video so the fourth video is basically related to median filter which is one of the most useful filters in image processing to have a very very enhanced image concept so just i copied the bilateral image file and then i will be converting this into the median filter file so uh, code will remain the same just you know, i will be changing this cv2 dot median filter and before that i will be renaming this one as a median filter so okay so median blur this one is the median blur yes so remaining things would be remaining the same okay so maybe median filter file should okay so this is here okay let me run this one for you okay so this is the result for the median filter or medium blur file so okay copy this one make another block and let's work towards sharpening filter let me write names for each of these blocks first median filter this one was bilateral filter bilateral filter this is I am writing because we have to provide these codes to you also so these will be very very useful for you when you are coding yourself so I again prefer writing the same names as, as the functions are available and you should also make a habit of writing the comment so that this code is quietly or easily understand, understandable by everyone so this is was the Gaussian filter or Gaussian blur you can write Gaussian filter Gaussian blur Gaussian blur filter whatever similarly this one was simple blurring so these names basically help uh, us to understand what is written in the code so finally let's move towards the sharpening filter so this sharpening it's uh, very useful why because it will give inner details of the image also so let me copy this code so this is the same code by the median filter and let's do this one with the sharpening one so for sharpening filter there is one um, change I will which I will show you also that I have to devise my own filter also but let's first change these things like uh, instead of blurring and maybe in median filter let's write this sharpening card call the code and then we will see so again comment was sharpening an image and here I will be calling the code for sharpening so let's write the function for that one and for that one I am writing k sharp because this is the most common 
like uh, function for sharpen image so cv2 dot sorry it should be like uh, uh, yes it should be filter 2d yes okay so then source which is img and then we have to give this uh, minus one and then we have to give the name of the kernel which is maybe we can put any variable name and then we have to div like define that variable also so maybe sharpen or sharp okay sharp any name can be used okay now i have to def define this sharp also so as i mentioned this sharp should be a um, uh, like a array of uh, maybe any size so let's take this one as an array of 3 by 3 so for that one we have to call this numpy np dot array and then we have to like uh, put it in three different rows minus one minus one minus one maybe yes and then uh, again my it might be minus one or minus two minus one would be better than eight or nine nine minus one yes and similarly we have to write the third line again you can take minus one minus one and minus one so you can put nine or uh, one in the middle and remaining would be minus one minus one minus one so most of the time this is also a laplacian filter too where the middle value is quite high and the remaining values are negative okay so when i okay so npy np is giving error okay so for that one i have to define numpy also because that was missing okay so okay so yes so just np is giving error let me complete this one comma comma so that okay so this is now reading it at an array but num npy is a giving error so import numpy as yes numpy as np okay so hopefully it will okay so this is okay now just we have to change the name here maybe k underscore sharp sorry it should be k and yes k underscore sharp and this would be sharp image or sharpened image or whatever name you can okay run this one so okay so this is basically you can see very good results now so again make this comment out this one and now I'm giving you a very uh, strange type filter but you can uh, this uh, like code can be changed with any other filter also you can change values here but let's see what I am changing here now but uh, for me for you it would be a suggestion that you can practice by changing this filter alone so instead of minus one minus one minus one you can put any values uh, but the idea would be that uh, try to keep this mask a stable value stable means that total sum of these values inside the mask they should be equal to zero or if they are not exactly equal to zero maybe you can put them near to zero so just for uh, like comment purposes i am writing changing the filter or maybe identifying different filters anyhow it would be like changing the filter so i will change these values you can put any values i will go with one zero maybe one or zero again so let's go with zero first okay so again these values can be put any values here so one 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 maybe or one one zero maybe so it should be zero min not minus zero and then you can change these values too so in my case i will go with maybe zero or one whatever you want so let's put this one as well yes so let's run this one again okay so you can see that this is a very strange filter now with different color schemes so basically idea was that you can apply different filters or different color schemes and then see what are the results so my suggestion is that you can should change different filters and then uh, apply these filters and mask and then see what are the results which are coming out of this code